head over to the link in the description or type in Bluetooth driver for Windows 11. Make sure that you go to the Intel website so it's safe. Click on it. Once you're on it, either download it for 64-bit or 32-bit. I'm gonna get 64-bit for Windows 11. And then click on I accept. Then your download will start. Once it's been downloaded, we're gonna open it up. And then we're gonna click on yes. And then we're gonna click on next. And then wait for this to load. Once that's been done, we're gonna click on next again. Then we're gonna click on I accept and next. And I'm gonna go with the typical installation, but you can go with custom or complete if you want. You could just read it below. So I'm gonna go with typical and then click on install. Once that's been done, click on finish and you have it. Now we're gonna head over to search and type in Bluetooth and other devices. And then you should have it here and you can turn it on. If there is nothing here, don't worry. I'm gonna tell you how to resolve that. We're gonna right click on the Windows start icon then we're gonna click on device manager. Once you're on it, if you still don't see Bluetooth here, then your motherboard probably doesn't come with Bluetooth. So what you should do instead is head over to either Amazon or eBay and then type in Bluetooth adapter USB and then just choose any one, read the review, see if it's good. This is what I personally did and it works for me. So once this comes, just plug it into your PC and then you will have Bluetooth. If you do it in the second way that I just showed you, then make sure that you uninstall the Intel Bluetooth driver that you just downloaded and then instead plug the Bluetooth adapter USB into your computer.